What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Grab a seat and strap in, cause we're about to have some fun. Today we're gonna talk about what is probably one of the best reality shows that Singapore has ever produced. Yes, I'm talking about Singapore Idol. Now you might remember that this show ran for three seasons from 2004 to 2009 and it gave us amazing local musical talents like Taufik Batisa, Hadi Mirza, Sazairi and who can forget, Singapore's Beyonce. But we're not going to be talking about them today. Instead, we're going to take a look at some of the messy Singapore Idol auditions that I found while going down a YouTube rabbit hole. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Actually, my voice really sounds like Bonan Keating. Yeah. Grandpa Captain in his coat It showed it once to me Said boy you might not understand Look at Dick Lee's face. Huh? I mean he looks completely done. And this is the guy that composed Home. So for the contestant to claim that he sounds like Ronan Keating, that is a pretty bold statement. Also let me be clear, I'm not here to critique any of the contestants singing ability because clearly I have none. We'll just see how this goes because after all these are some of the messiest auditions and I'm expecting things to get messy. Oh, your voice has a kind of goat-like quality. Actually, I completely disagree with Dick. You don't sound good. Like, you sounded like a horse. I thought there was a horse <laughs> name <clears throat> somewhere in there. Okay, hold on, hold on. So that was Florence Lien, and she's one of the judges on the panel as well. But the fact that she commented that the contestant sounded like a horse, and she also had to clear her throat because she was sounding horse. <coughs> I mean, I don't know if that was a coincidence, but that was pretty iconic. <laughs> so, I'm gonna have to say nay to you as well. Nay. I mean, the puns start coming and they don't stop coming. Actually, my voice really sounds like Ronan Keating. Yeah. Maybe you have to listen to actually... I think you gave Ronan Keating a bad name. Okay, so this contestant is not backing down. I mean, why would you say something so controversial yet so brave? I mean, he's been shut down by Dick Lee and Florence Lien, and now even by Ken Lim, another judge on the panel who is apparently our resident Simon Cowell. What my brother said, right, he really don't like the song until I sang it. What did your brother say? He said, what I sang uh, for When You Sing Like That All, oh, it's a lot better, if not the same standard, it's better than what Ronan Keating sang. I think your brother is deaf. Um, I'll say no. I'm dead. I'm deceased. That was another judge on the panel. I think he's from the previous seasons. But the fact that he just shut down the contestant like that. Wow. I mean, this was over a decade ago, so I hope that this Ronan Keating is out there doing well and has a brother with his hearing still intact. Watch your back because this is gonna be the next Asian Avril Lavigne. I remember seeing this live. If memory serves me right, this was one of the best Avril Lavigne song covers I've ever heard. So sit tight because it's gonna be a wild ride. Uh, you know you dress quite in a very strange uh, manner. Exactly, like Avril Lavigne. Avril Lavigne! Oh my gosh, I cannot. I love Avril Lavigne. Avril Lavigne? Avril Lavigne. Avril Lavigne. Don't let me hang it in a silly so dead. Hell up so high on such a big of a dread. Yeah, that, that does not sound like Avril Lavigne. Though I do appreciate the hand gestures and the choreo because that was chef's kiss. <laughs> What was that? I don't know what is that, but I have never seen Avril Lavigne do that. Oh, 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 oh. How's it? What are you trying to do? I'm trying to get through the finals. Okay, we like a queen who is supremely confident. Gotta hand it to her. Do you know that you sound bad? Why? There's no why, you just <laughs> sound bad. I'm telling you, you're not going to be able to make it as a singer. Ooh, that was hard to watch. I mean, now you see why I mentioned that Ken Lim is our version of Simon Carl because he didn't hold back any punches and I don't know how Alvio Levine is going to take it. So much for Amanda's happy ending. I mean, that was amazing. That was certainly a choice. But hey, you know what? She stuck to her Avril Lavigne punk rock roots. And yes, giving a middle finger to the camera is definitely on brand. I remember a long, long time ago you came and joined the competition. Oh, yes. <laughs> long, long ago, long ago. <laughs> okay, that song, Long, Long Ago, is giving me major wartime flashbacks. This is probably the origin story of Kurt Day, if I'm right to say that. 
I don't know, I'm not very well versed in Kurt Day legend and lore, but please, if you're a fan, comment down below. But that Nong Nong Ago song is bringing back memories I thought I didn't have or had repressed. So yeah, this is not gonna go down well for sure. <laughs> My heart will go on and on. But you still said my heart will go Nong. Huh? <laughs> okay, firstly, they didn't really dirty with an edit because that was the clip. That was it. There was nothing more beyond that. And I think you still gotta hand it to him for having the confidence and the balls to do a second audition. But also have to agree with Dick Lee because the pronunciation, not really a 10 out of 10. You are Mr. Callous Whisper. <laughs> Callous Whisper, legend. But now I'm just realizing that he auditioned three times, one every season. Wow. I don't think I have the time, energy, or the commitment to do what he did. I mean, look at this guy. He came, he saw, and he whispered. My money, where are you? My money, I need you. We could be together in the past. But the future, there's no more chance. So the judges send Patrick home for good. Pause right there because there's a lot we need to unpack, okay? First, just the performance alone. That was amazing. His volume has finally increased and I would dare say maybe it was even too loud. I don't know what song was that at all, but I can totally relate to crying about money. Where are you? Maybe this was an original composition by the guy himself, but sadly it was a tragic end to this story because he didn't make it for obvious reasons. What a journey. I mean, all three seasons he's auditioned and that is probably a record. If I climb the highest mountain just to hold you tight If I say that I will love you every single night Okay, hold up. Before we go even further, why does this lady give me Corpse Bright vibes? It's not just me, right? So worried that you let me down I nearly cried but I control my tears when you sang, I also nearly cried but yeah. I, I was controlling myself. You belong to that very special breed of singer who is completely tone deaf. Wow, okay, I did not expect an assassination attempt because if I were in her position and if I were told point blank that I'm tone deaf, I would die inside. I mean, how am I supposed to respond to that? I already know I'm tone deaf. I don't need someone else to confirm it. But I guess that was just the tone of the show back then because anytime there was a contestant that came on and was clearly not gonna make it, the judges really went all in. In between entertaining his fellow contestants, Banana Man felt he could go far! If I can make it, I'll lose my banana mask maybe in the finals. If I get eliminated, then no one gets to see my face. Okay, this is one of those contestants. I mean, Banana Man, definitely not my vibe. And this frame right here is giving me nightmare fuel. I don't know, did he make this mask or did he buy it online? Maybe I don't want to know. I'm trying to understand the concept behind the mask because the face portion looks like a watermelon and there's banana for his hair. So what? What is this? But I'm curious to know, can he really sing? Ring, 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 banana phone. Okay, I guess we got our answer. He can't. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding, banana phone. It grows in bunches. I've got my hunches. It's the best. Beats the rest. Cellular, modular, interactive, modular. Ring, 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 ring. Banana phone. Take off your mask or walk out of here. Uh -oh. The way I screamed at that. Ken Lim was not having any of that bullshit. My final verdict on Banana Man is that he was a great idea in concept, but terrible in execution. But Ken Lim telling him to take off that mask. I mean, in this economy, I don't think so. All right, let's check out one more clip and I think I've saved the best for last. But you gotta mind the terrible video quality because this was the only copy I could find online. I think you'll forgive the video quality once you've seen who is in this audition clip. And there were some who were just in it for their 15 minutes of fame. Yes, that is THE Stephen Lim. This was from the very first season of Singapore Idol in 2004. I guess this is really his claim to fame and the very first time we got a taste of what's to come. I don't know what song he's gonna sing for this audition, but knowing what we know about Stephen Lim now, it's probably gonna be chaotic. Stop 
like she talks, like she talks, like she walks. Hey, 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 she bang, she bang. Oh, baby, what she move, she move. I go crazy, she looks like a pro, but she stinks like a bee. Like every girl in history. I'm so sorry you had to see that. I apologize and I empathize. How was this... How, how can this be allowed? I'm kind of thankful now that I can't really make out what's going on because the resolution is terrible. Maybe that's a good thing for you guys as well that you didn't need to see everything in full HD because I don't think our eyes would recover from that. He chose to sing that iconic William Hung song and that was a choice. A very intentional one, but probably not the best. Thank you, Stephen Lee Bang. Hey, all together now. Repeat after me. <laughs> Wanna be? I don't know what's up with that weird narration. I guess that was the host of the very first season. That was like a very you know off-brand version of the Love Island narrator. Not really here for that. I don't think "wannabe" is the best word to describe Stephen Lim's performance. I think a better word would be dangerous. Uh, the the song of death. Thank you. Oh, we're very entertained. Yep, I have to agree with Digby. That was literally the song of death. My brain cells, dead. Deceased. Pass away. So you know what guys, I think we've seen enough messy auditions for today. I'm gonna need some time to recover from that. So that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to like and subscribe, and comment down below what I should react to next. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye! YOLO SAY NO NO YOLO YOLO YOU ONLY LIVE ONCE